Hi guys, welcome to Curious Home Chefs. Like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for latest updates and recipes. Hi guys, welcome to Curious Home Chefs. Today we're going to prepare one of the famous Middle Eastern dessert that's uh, kunafa. Uh, sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. So basically it's made up of shredded pastry, uh, some gooey cheese and flavored sugar syrup. Well, it is said to be hailed from a Palestinian city of Nablus and uh, you can find this in every Arab country and they have their own subtle variations of cooking kunafa. I was first introduced to this dessert by one of my roommates when I started working in Dubai and uh, she asked me to try this and once I tried it I absolutely love you know the way the warm kunafa and the gooey cheese oozing out from it with you know a subtle uh, sugar flavor to it it was garnished with some nuts so I was really craving because when me and Asim used to stay in Barsha there was this place which was specializing in kunafa and we used to have it quite often and uh, since we shifted uh, to Nada's I thought making some at home usually they use the ketafi uh, dough or the filo dough which is uh, spe uh, specifically for kunafa but I, since I didn't find it I used a substitute that's vermicelli and it turned out really best so I want to share the recipe with you all guys and I hope you'll enjoy watching this so to prepare the kunafa, you will need some thin vermicelli. Basically, uh, you also get the kunafa dough. But since I didn't find this, so I have seen some recipes where they have used this thin uh, vermicelli and uh, which is used to make kheer and uh, other stuff. You can use this. And I have crushed it a bit. So the next step is, I'll be adding in some butter. So to tell you the proportions, I've taken uh, 350 grams of uh, vermicelli. Now I'll be adding about 4 tablespoons of butter, melted butter. Now I'll proceed to mix the butter well and crush the vermicelli further. The dough should be looking somewhat like this. It should be really fine and the butter should be mixed well. Now I'll leave this aside and proceed to the next step. So now we proceed to prepare the cheese filling for the kunafa. I will take one cup of milk and add it to the pan. Then I'll add three tablespoons sugar. You can add more sugar or less sugar as per your choice. Mix this well. Do this on a very low flame because it might end up getting uh, burned from down because it has sugar. And then I proceed to add my corn flour mixture. I make some about one tablespoon of corn flour in some milk. And I'll add this. Then I'll add some cream cheese. This also you can add as per your preference some cheese cubes or cream cheese as per the availability of the cheese. Now I mix, mix this mixture really well. Cook until the mixture is not thickened. Stir it continuously so it doesn't hurt the bottom. As you can see, my mixture is thickening now and uh, stir it continuously so no lumps are there and it doesn't hurt the bottom. My cheesy filling for the kunafa is now done and this is what it should look like. Now I'll proceed to add some grated mozzarella, what I had prepared uh, homemade. My filling for the kunafra is done, let's move to the next step. Now I've taken a baking dish, I'll generously brush it with some butter so that the kunafra doesn't stick to the bottom or the sides. Now I'll proceed to add the vermicelli base. Spread it out evenly. Now I'll take a steel bowl or any bowl and try to press this out. Once I flatten it out, I'll proceed to add my cheese filling. Note to always put it in the center so that the filling doesn't come out. 
Now I'll spread this a bit but avoiding the sides. Put another layer of vermicelli over this. Now I will gently tap it, spreading out the vermicelli. Now I'll be putting this in the oven and I'll preheat the oven at 150 degrees Celsius and I'll cook this for about 20 minutes. Now in this step I will be making the sugar syrup and I'll take a pan and heat it. To the pan I'll add half cup of uh, sugar and the equal amount of water so I'll take half cup of sugar and half cup of water. To this I'll add 1 teaspoon of rose water for the flavor. Once our syrup is boiling, I'll add in a few strands of queso or saffron as you call it. After 7 to 8 minutes, my uh, syrup is thickened a bit but I don't want to thicken completely because it has to pour over the kunafa and get soaked in it. So I'll switch off the flame now and let it cool down. You can see how it looks now. This is how my kunafa looks after 20 minutes and now I proceed to remove it in a plate. I'll add in the syrup what I had prepared earlier. Now I'll proceed to unlock this and proceed to remove it off. Wow, so this is how it looks like. Now I'll proceed to add in my chopped pistachios. The kunafa is now done and let's cut it and see. I hope you enjoyed watching my video guys. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to show us your love. And you can also log into our website www.curiousshomeshares.com for latest updates and recipes. So I'll see you next time guys.